Hi, my name is Ryan, and today I'll be going over how to use the printf method. All right, the concept of the printf method is it allows you to format your desired console output. Right, and how we do that is we have a format string and an argument list. Format specifiers are included in the formatted text and specify which argument to use in an output and how to format it. Percent %s for the string, percent %d for integers, and percent %f for floating point, for an example. All right, and this is an example of use of it. You have the string, string variable equals world, and then once you use the method, as you see, you'll get to that output. Right, including an integer in the format specifier controls the length of the text to be outputted. All right, and basically that means is if you have percent %5s, it will print out your string in a field length of 5. So if your string has a length of 3, then there will be two spaces in front of it, and then your string is justified to the right by default. All right, and these are just a list of floating point examples. Uh, you can use percent point two f that'll print it to two decimal places. You can do percent comma point two f and it'll do the same thing only it'll include commas. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to write a program uh, that demonstrates the uses of the printf method. Uh, I have my comments, my name, program description. Uh, input we'll have no input and our output will be how we program the printf to display our data types which will be the string integer and double types all right so we come down and I have my class set up printf the same name as the file and my main method set up so we can go ahead and get going so I'm going to create a couple of variables one a couple of strings And I'm going to create a integer variable, 234, and then a double variable. Okie doke. Now, first test I'm going to show you is how we can use the printf to print out a string. And that's going to be percent %s in our format and then the argument will be hello str which is our first string variable alright so let me check make sure everything is good compile everything's good alright and as you can see when we run it it prints out hello which is our first string variable and then what I can do is I can come in here and add a second percent %s and then what that'll do is that'll print the second variable in our argument list so now when I compile it and run it I get hello world and you can do that for any combination you can do percent %s, percent %d, percent %s just make sure that your arguments are in the same order with string, integer string or however you'd like it okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second line down here that does the exact same thing only we're going to include a field specify a field amount alright and what's that what that's going to do is it's going to print out our variables into a field that's 20 spaces wide percent 20s percent 20s hello str world str all right, let's give it a try. Compile. Everything's good. Okay. <clears throat> now, as you can see, this is the first I printed out. You see they're right next to each other. And then the next one with the field length specifier is spaced out. Now, what it'll do is if you specify a field length of 20, like I did so, the and say your string is six characters long like mine, the first 14 will be spaces and then the string will print out. So it's always justified to the right. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to print out our integer and we'll do 
percent D int out all right oh print F compile and then as you can see it printed out our integer and it's pretty much the same with each data type in the corresponding format specifier okie doke now as far as the floating point specifier goes there's a couple of different arguments you can throw in there um, we can do point two and what that'll do is that'll print out our double to two decimal places so we compile and print out oh I guess we should print out the right variable alright sorry <clears throat> there as you can see it printed out our double and kept it to two decimal places alright so another neat trick we can do is we can do a field length so we'll do 20.2 and what that'll do is it'll do the same thing in the string it'll print out our floating point in a field length of 20 and it'll still keep it to do decim two decimal places All right, so we compile that run it and you can see from the previous run and this run the 20 the field length kicked in All right, now one more thing you can also do is throw a comma in there and your floating point number will then be separated by commas and that makes it easy to print out money values for instance alright now I'm gonna get a little bit complicated don't worry it's not too bad I'm going to create an array of doubles Let me give me a second here alright there's our array of doubles now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to print out a table format using the fielding specifier in our format specifier alright so I'm going to go system.out.printf alright and I'm going to go I guess I should name the variable percent alright so we want to print them out with a field length of 20 we'll space them with commas if need be and we'll keep them to two decimal places F and then doubles zero alright that zero is the first element in our array of doubles alright and I'm going to want to do this for every element there's four of them so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this four times and I'm going to change the index and in each one to the corresponding alright so now what it should do is it should print out I'll go ahead and put a new line so that's right it'll print out a table format of the decimals that we have set okay so let's compile alright and then print out and there you can see the table we printed out. You can do this for as many rows, many columns as you'd like. Uh, it just creates a nice display of output. Alright, so the results are we can use the printf method uh, to format our console output. You can use field links to evenly space table output. And programmers can control decimal points and comma groups with the floating point format specifiers.